Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to solve double pan window. A window made up of uh, two glass and inside there is an air gap. So we will analyze uh, how heat transfer takes place across this window. So in this model, uh, we are not going to analyze in, in a 3D uh, model. We are going to take uh, 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 only the uh, <coughs> 2D model, we are going to analyze it. So, the length and uh, material property, everything given here. Now, we will have, have a look. The first one LA, LA is a 4 mm and LB is 10 mm and LC also in 4 mm. Thickness is not required. Uh, if you are modeling in a 3D, thickness is required. Now we are modeling in a plane thermal analysis, so thickness is not necessary. And uh, thermal conductivity of the uh, glass, glass is 0.8 watt meter Kelvin. And uh, thermal conductivity of the air is 0 0.025 watt per meter Kelvin. And this side, uh, the outside the temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. And the heat transfer coefficient is 30 watt per meter meter square Kelvin and inside of the room we are maintaining a temperature of 20 degree Celsius and uh, heat transfer coefficient is 30 watt per meter square Kelvin. Now we will analyze this and we will check how heat transfer takes place. So <coughs> now first open Salamaka. I have saved, uh, um, I have kept my Salamaka here. Just wait for a while, it will get open. Salamaka is the uh, finite element solver like ANSYS. It has a preprocessor, geometry model and machine model. Similarly, uh, finite element solver called Codaster. So now it is got opened. Now we will move into geometry model to model our geometry. So first one, first one is the, the length LA is 4 mm. The only thing is everything we are going to use a single unit. So I am going to convert this 4 mm into meter. So divided by 1000. So this value is 0 0.004. So this is the meter. Similarly this also in 0. 0, 0, 001 meter and this also the same so we'll use this dimension to model our uh, geometry and this also be converted into meter 0 0.08 is the height in meter so now just go to the geometry model. So this is actually a rectangle you see single single rectangle we can model it. Go to operation new entity sorry new entity basic. There is option called 2D sketch. Use the rectangular option 0 0 you just keep it and this one x length x length is LA is 0 0.04 and height is 0 0.08 0 0.04 height is 0 0.08 0 0.004 0 0.08 just apply and close now we have a rectangle similarly we will create one more uh, rectangle This dimension is 0 0.01, height also the same. So 0 0.01, height is same, 0 0.08, apply and close. 
this is the second rectangle which is bigger rectangle we need to translate this rectangle actually first we'll create then we'll translate it now we have created the same rectangle has to be translated here so now we'll translate one by one so first we'll translate this we'll take this one operation transformation translation in x translation we need to specify this length 0.004 Zero point double zero four. There is an option called create a copy. Just keep it this thing. Just apply and close. Now see, we have created. Similarly, we just translate this value, this rectangle into this side. Operation translation translate. We need to add both the values. So zero point double zero four plus zero point zero one. So that means zero point zero one four. X we need to translate like this, then apply and close. Now we'll view only the required sketches. Yes, three sketches: sketch one, translation one, translation two. These three is the model. Now we'll build face for this model. Select the sketch one. Go to build face. Apply. Similarly, translation one, apply it. Translation two, apply and close. So this is our model. Now what we will do? We'll uh, partition it because we need a mesh connection, node connection between these elements. So for that, we need to partition it. As for simple partition, what we'll do? Select all the faces. Go to operation. There is option called partition. Don't specify any tool object. Just apply and close. Now what it will do? It will do the mesh uh, sharing edges in this between the surfaces. Now we'll save this file. Go to File, Save as. Now I have saved it. Now we have done. So. Then we need to create groups to apply the boundary conditions. We have two different materials. For that, we need to create that also. So this one and this one, both are the same material. That is glass. Just apply it. And mid one is the air. Then apply it. And left side edge. Just change this into edge shape type. Left side edge. This one is the um, <coughs> left convection. We can write it as left side convection. Left side convection. Just apply it, and here. right side convection just apply and close now we have created all the groups so only we'll check one by one so this is the glass this one is the hair and left side this edge as left side convection and this one is the right side convection now we have done creating the groups now we'll go for the model now we have done everything now we'll go for a uh, meshing so now just save this file so change this into mesh model so select this partition go to mesh create mesh there are different mesh we can create here i'm going to use just simple uh, triangular mesh we can go for quad mesh also no issues so Default default length it shows 0.008 0.002 I'm specifying it. Okay, apply and close. Right click, compute. So this is the mesh it has generated. Uh, only two element is at generating. Little finer mesh will go. So edit mesh. I'm just making it to 0.001. Compute. 
so this is enough this is actually a linear mesh go to mesh information this is a linear mesh will take this linear into quadratic mesh for uh, good accuracy so select this mesh one there is option called modification there is option called convert to or from quadratic just convert to quadratic apply and close now we can check this node nodes <coughs> see there is an uh, oh, extra one more node just generated in between the element edges so this is a, consider this is a triangle this a triangle uh, in linear element it has node only at the corners but in the quadratic element th there is one more node in between the edge also so so this this way we can check it so now this has converted into quadratic we can view the mesh information also see this this is converted into quadratic now just close this now we have done meshing similarly just check groups are imported to mesh yes now groups also imported into the mesh now we'll save this file now we'll go into uh, aster studies to create the setup aster study choose table now we'll first we'll create a dummy dummy setup from that we can edit it that is the quickest possible way of creating a, a command file so just right click there is option called add stage with assistant so linear thermal analysis yes linear thermal analysis next mesh next instead of 3d just go into plane next just leave this value go to next any boundary condition simply would just specify it zero leave it there is no heat flux no volumetric source no now we need to specify the output format output file format that means result file format here i'm specifying it as result underscore thermal dot rmad so rmad is the output file format just finish it now what we have done we have just generated a, a dummy dummy is case setup from that we can edit it finish it okay so read mesh this is a common we need not to edit this one and this is also a plain thermic analysis so model we have specified it then material in material we need to specify two material just go to the case we have a two material one is a glass another one is the air so we need to edit this material property so <coughs> go here just change this into uh, <coughs> glass there is thermal command which is under so now here it's there so the thermal conductivity of the glass is 0 0.8 just change this value into 0 0.8 save ok just apply it now you see the value lambda is got changed now the one more material we need to specify it so go to material define material so this one is the air just charge this into thermal so linear isotropic i mean isotropic heat conductive material the air conductivity is 0 0.025 watt per meter kelvin 0 0.025 watt per meter kelvin we need not to uh, only the value need, need to be specified another thing is we need to assign the material property to this specific geometry or mesh now just go to the mesh to switch on the model here we need to assign it so go to first one not the everywhere we need to go for a group of elements edit there is an option called glass so here we can view it these two are glass save ok here we need to choose glass now it has already chosen glass just leave it save ok there is one more we need to add it go to edit group of element there is option called air the in between element is the air save ok here we need to add this has to be air save ok just apply it now see for the 
glass material for the group name glass we have assigned the material of glass for the group name of air we have assigned the material of air now we have assigned the material to the mesh then we need to specify the boundary conditions now previously we have just simply uh, generated this actually a convection boundary condition we need to specify it the command for it is the exchange so go and add it there are two command we need to add first one the left side group of element is left side convection say ok so we need to specify two values one is heat transfer coefficient another one is external temperature now just go to the case the left side the heat transfer coefficient is 30 and the external temperature is minus 10 so minus 10 this one is the 30 say ok the second one is right side group of element edit right side convection say ok in right side also the heat transfer coefficient is 30 but the external temperature is 20 yes say apply now here also we can check it for the left side the heat transfer coefficient is 30 and temperature is minus 10 for the right side heat transfer coefficient is 30 and temperature is 20 this is the command we're generating at the back just say apply ok now we have applied our case boundary condition now just go to the temperature so this is the solver we need to choose the thermic linear solver now it has chosen say ok and the output also you need to change it so we will have a check once now everything is done now we can go for solving so just save this file go to history view there is an option called plus just plus button just tick it here if you want to change it you can change it this is a simple uh, problem so 15 minutes is more time for this so always we need to specify uh, higher time for this case and uh, 5 seconds we can run this so here we can view the uh, message file if any error comes we can view the message file here and it will show uh, what type of error and everything from that we need to modify it so now we are now the solver is getting readed uh, command file now see it has solved without any error it shows dynamic diagnostic job is ok that means no error and warning now we can go for post processing to view the results paravis just open it now just navigate the file the result thermal dot rmd is the file which is uh, the name we have named it just save it ok then apply it <coughs> so this is the temperature this is the way is temperature is getting uh, propagating I just changing this color into some different color to view better this two thing is this the way the answers will show the results so just setting the similar way yes left side we have around uh, minus 7.9 and right side the temperature is around uh, uh, 18 here the wall temperature the glass temperature is around 18 and here uh, the glass temperature is around minus 7.9 so this is the way the heat is getting uh, conduction is happening and heat transfer is happens so <coughs> if you want to uh, find a temperature in any one of the location you can go for a hover point on 
and you can place wherever you want the temperature here it's around minus 7.7 7. and in between the contact area you see the temperature is minus 7.5 and here also the contact area the temperature is around 17.5 uh, and temperature is getting reducing like this so we can plot this temperature also I just switching off this your point now we just go for filter search just type plot there is option called plot data over time this is we have done in a static analysis that means steady state analysis so the temperature is no play here now just go for plot over a line just enter it now it is default it sets from this corner to this corner now we can specify it to uh, this one x-axis line now we can plot the temperature profile along this line just apply it so there are different options for getting uh, switched on so xra name xra is the actually uh, <coughs> x coordinate that means point point x then y array this one is the y array y array has to be at temperature so now see this is zero the zero this is the x coordinate at the maximum length is 0 0.018 so the temperature profile is like this so minus 8 actually the minus 7.9 the temperature drop is across the uh, air is very more because the thermal conductivity of the air is very very less that's why the temperature drop along the uh, uh, across the air is much more and here the temperature drop is very very less because the, it has some conductivity that's why the under the temperature drop you can see the similar pattern in both in glass both side of the glass but in air you see much more temperature drop so because of this uh, uh, the heat transfer is very very low <coughs> very very less this is the way we can analyze so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you